There's not one, one person that is rich that had that that hadn't had to develop this this all important characteristic of, of being diligent. This is like week five or six, we're still talking about this, but have you gotten it? Why do we need to move on to something new if you have not grasped the concept and you have not been putting it into action? Every now and then, like we, we like to talk about, we like to talk about faith and and uh, the whole faith process. And let me, let me explain to you why that's so vitally important. Because one of the things that I've found is that a lot of times we understand exactly how to, uh, we understand exactly how to, um, we understand how to, how to do the whole church thing. But then when it comes down to actually living by faith, which God says in his word that the just shall do what? They'll live by faith. And how many of you classify yourself as being just or justified? Amen. But then now understand this, and, and we have so many people that, uh, that, are, that classify themselves as just or justified, but they don't know how to live by faith. And God, and God just, you know, just bust in. He had, he, I give him permission to do that. Glory to God, he can do what he want. I work for him. Let me try that one more time. I say, he can do that. I work for him. Okay, so now watch this now. So, so God, says, God said this to me. I want my people to operate by faith as if, as if it is normal to them, and it should be normal. And it what? And it should be normal. So operating by faith, God says, I want my people to operate by faith, but I want them to operate by faith as if that is the normal thing to do. And so do you realize that we have to make effort to operate by faith? But God says, I want my people to operate by faith, and I want that to be normal for them. How many of you, how many of you understand that? And so now watch this. Now, do you realize how many people simply don't understand operating by faith and, I mean, just normally operating by faith? We have to, we have to really think, well, am I operating by faith today? You know, now, now understand this now. We never do think, we never do think, um, well, am I walking today? That just kind of comes normal now, doesn't it? You know, I mean, when a, when a child, when a child is uh, uh, first walking, they, they take, you know, they, see, they, they're making an effort. So they are consciously walking. But once, once you get to the, once they get to the point where they are, they, they are accustomed to doing this, they don't, look, they don't make an, they don't make an effort to do it. They just do it. And, and that's exactly what God is saying, how he wants us to, how he wants us to operate by faith. So we have to, we have to consciously, uh, we have to consciously make an effort to do that. But God says, I want that to come normal for you. I want that to be a normal process for you. So now, in other words, in, in getting things from God or getting healing from God, getting deliverance from God, getting, getting things from God, look, if we learn to operate normally by faith, uh, now, first of all, we're going to have to understand what that is. But if we operate normally by faith, then what that means is, is that we just automatically get things. We just automatically get healed. We just automatically get delivered. And then we keep what we get. Why? Because we're doing this normally. They are justified, that's us, are justified freely. What? Okay, now watch this now. Are justified freely. By his grace, okay, let's try that one more time. Um, they are justified freely by his grace through, I love that word through. Every time you see through, I want you to pay attention to it. Okay, through what? Okay, where's the redemption? 
Okay, so that's why guilt is not there, because redemption is there. Okay, now wait a minute, wait a minute. See, we're trying to get something, right? We're trying to tap into something. But we're trying to tap into something that is freely given to us. But now understand this. Come on, shake your neighbor. Make sure they're still here. Say, please don't miss this. Come on, shake them. Make sure they're still here. Okay, so now watch this now. So what we're trying to do is tap into something, but that which we're tapping into is in Jesus. And so the redemption is in Jesus. Because the redemption is in Jesus, guess what you have? Redemption. Redemption is in Jesus. You're in Jesus. And therefore, you have redemption. Watch this. You guys all right so far? Okay, so now watch this now. Okay. Okay, so God presented him, watch this, God presented him as a, him, Jesus, as a propitiation through faith. Okay, I, there's that word through again. It's, it's through what? Okay, now go, finish that. It's through what? Okay, now wait a minute. Okay, so now, uh, not just faith in Jesus, but now faith in his blood. That's why we have a challenge casting out demons because we don't because we don't uh, necessarily have we have not necessarily applied faith in his blood. How many of you got that? We don't even sing blood songs anymore because it just doesn't fit in worship or the worship that we created. It just don't fit in worship anymore. You remember all the blood songs? Okay, see, because it doesn't fit in worship anymore, the kind of worship that we created, what we are actually doing is creating a pattern away from the blood which we're supposed to have faith in. In order to break out of fear, come on, how many of you really want to break out of every ounce of fear? Because, because perfect love does what? Because perfect love casts out what? Perfect love casts out fear. So in order to break, to break out of fear, we need to develop love that's agape in us. We need to develop love in us. Uh, the New Testament expresses, this comes from, uh, this comes from the um, complete biblical library, Greek Hebrew dictionary. Um, the New Testament expresses agape as a love that wills to uh, initiate a relationship and shows kindness and self and self-sacrifice regardless of whether oh my father okay 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 regardless of whether the object of the love is worthy or even likable. I don't have to like you to love you. I don't even have to like you. But I love you with the agape of God. I love you unconditionally. Even when, uh, please understand this, it does not matter. Are, are you all here? Okay, so now watch this now. Thus, it is a love that does not depend on emotional response. Rather, it is an expression of the nature and character of the one who loves So when we have displayed actions of no agape, that was, a, that was an expression of the nature and the character of the one who was supposed to love. No character. If I smack my wife around, it means I have no character. If you smack somebody around, it doesn't matter who they are, whether you know them or not. It is a display of no character. If I almost smack my wife, 
It means I have no character. If you almost smack somebody, it means you have no character. Principle number four. Principle number four. Walk by faith even when your feelings are screaming doubt at you. How many of you have ever experienced that? You believe in God for something, and, they, and they, look, the enemy's job is to make sure, watch this, his job is to make sure somebody tick you off. Why? Because it immediately snatches you away from manifestation. It immediately snatches you away from what you believe. And but watch this. And so when they did that, uh, what happened to your confession? If you're not walking in love, guess what happens to your confession? It changed. It, it, it changed its focus. It focused on, it focused on decreeing something hateful against that individual. What happens to your manifestation now? You get a different kind of manifestation. Now, all of a sudden, you don't get what you were believing for. You get what you just said. Glory to God. Okay, you guys here? Okay. Uh, okay, so when, 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 when your faith is based on what you see, catch this now. When your faith is based on what you see or feel the same condition, situation, or circumstance, is all you will ever have. Say something different than what you see. You don't want to keep having the same thing, do you? You don't want to keep having the same thing. So say something, say something different. Okay, to walk by faith must uh, to walk by faith, you must practice. You must practice it, even when your feelings are screaming at you. It's not what I'm doing. There's not even one person that is rich that had that that hadn't had to develop this this all important characteristic of, of being diligent. This is like week five or six. We're still talking about this, but have you gotten it? Why do we need to move on to something new? if you have not grasped the concept and you have not been putting it into action.